All right, Whole30 starts tomorrow. I'm getting prepped today. I'm going to clean out my fridge and my pantry. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to make my breakfast for tomorrow and Friday. Just like it's a casserole, I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-make that. And I'm gonna fill out my first page of my journal, which is all the symptoms that I'm currently feeling right now, so that way I can track those throughout. And I am just gonna get a couple other things ready. You might be wondering how I, a paleo blogger who's supposedly an expert in all this kind of stuff and has been living this lifestyle for so long has gotten to this point of having a Hashimoto's flare and just not feeling great. Well, first of all, I'm human and I honestly, I got lazy. I think there's such thing as diet fatigue. I had been on the GAPS diet, which is a diet kind of similar to paleo prior to paleo. And then I went on the autoimmune paleo AIP for a year. And then I was on strict paleo and I did a several whole thirties throughout that. And eventually it just got to the point where I just didn't want to be restricted anymore. I'm celiac, so I have to be restricted with gluten, but sometimes I just want to be normal. Part of the reasons I just got lazy. There's so many things that are out now that are gluten-free and easy fake mixes and just things that are just make your life convenient. And it gets easy to just be lazy like that. And this, I didn't even need this. This is the exact kind of behavior I'm trying to get rid of. I've definitely got some like deep-seated food issues that I thought went to bed a long time ago. They're starting to come back up. And I think part of that is just because of the sugar cravings and all of the hormones and everything in my body are creating that. So I'm hoping the Whole30 will also put that down and prevent these from happening further, hopefully. <laughs> my stuff soon but first gonna go take the puppy for a walk so it's not even that I eat that badly I mean compared to my days of Lucky Charms and Doritos I'm like I so I have corn tortillas and like paleo brownies every so often it's not like it's that bad but the thing is when your body starts giving you signals of like things like hot, like the Hashimoto's autoimmune flares with the symptoms, then you know that maybe you're not eating so good for you. I find myself fortunate that I, I actually realized this and eventually, you know, I'm coming back to it. I kind of think of it like siblings hitting each other. At first you hit your brother because you're angry and you don't really know any other way. And it's kind of like you just eat badly and you don't know any other way. And then your mother tells you enough that it's bad and you realize you shouldn't be doing it, but you still do it anyway. Just kind of like eating badly and still doing it anyway. But then eventually you realize that you shouldn't be hitting your brother anymore and finding other ways to take out your anger. And hopefully that's the same kind of thing with your food. That you realize, okay, maybe I shouldn't be binging on things and maybe this is really a wake up call and I need to actually be healthier. Also, when you kind of accepted meat as your new normal, but then you realized how good you could feel when you do change your diet, you don't really want to go back to that meh again. I mean, it feels so much better and it feels great when you feel younger, when you're getting older. So why would you want to go back to that? First thing I'm going to do is make chicken stock and I just like to make it in my Instant Pot. You can see I have a video on how to make chicken stock in your foam broth, in your Instant Pot. Um, I'll link to that in the description. I like to make it the day before I really want it because I do not like chicken stock that has just been cooked. I like it to cool down first and then to be able to reheat it again. When, Cause I drink it as like a coffee kind of drink. I'll just put sea salt and sometimes just ghee in it. All right, now I'm on to making a Whole30 hash brown and sausage 
breakfast casserole I'm going to make for breakfast. I'm going to be making two of them because I'm going to make some for my neighbor as well because she's kind of busy and she's doing this whole 30 with me. And the recipe is by Cheryl of 40 Aprons and I'll link to it below as well. I'm using US Wellness Meats uh, pork breakfast sausage because it's sugar free. calls for hash browns, like pre-made frozen ones. And the only ones I could find in the store that didn't have added dextrose, which is sugar, were the Cascadian Farms organic ones. Now I'm ready for tomorrow. Let's bring it. <laughs> 